saw Drake since then? Yeah, I saw Drake. In, I, I went to a Grammy party in 2010. We were nominated, so I was out there. I went to an event with a friend of mine um, that uh, who, my, my, my ex-business partner who got locked up back in the day. And we, so he was in, living in L.A., and we go to this it's this spot you need to come to in L.A. on Sunday nights. So we go to this spot. I didn't know this spot was the official spot for Drake's after party for the <laughs> Grammy nomination. So here I am, Sean, in this club when me and this man have been going back and forth, you know what I mean, uh, shoot, about this particular song. And now it's Grammy night, and I'm here in the same club where this man is at. So I walk into the room. I come into the club, and... Uh, First person I see is Wayne. Wayne, now before I see Wayne, Dre see me. They're pointing, he's pointing at me with his partners or whatever and stuff. So and hold I on, tell- hold on, hold on. Drake, because it's people who write on albums, it's not like you and Drake sat in the studio nah, and made nah, that yeah. record. Drake exactly. physically knew who you were? Yeah, uh, Drake knew who I was, yes. You know Okay, what I'm go ahead. All right, because even prior to this, to the, to the thing happening, Tessington, which is which is uh Wayne's manager, yep. you know, manages Drake. So when I had bought that verse from Wayne back in the day, Tez was there. You see what I'm saying? So these people been knowing, like you in Memphis, you know what I mean? This 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 right here is the key to the city of Memphis, right here. That's what this is. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So it's like if you come and doing business in Memphis, you you come on, you, I, I'm gonna know you, you know what I mean? Um, so and Drake got family out there, you know what I mean? I got hit records that still play. In Memphis to this day, so you're not gonna come to Memphis and not know who I am. But at the end of the day, so I'm in the back to the club story. So I'm in the club. He's pointing at me, you know what I mean, and with his dudes, and I'm like, "Yo, um, this dude Drake, he pointed at me, or whatever, right?" And then my partner look up, and we two, there's two people with us. They look up, they're like, "Damn, he do what he is pointing." Then we see Wayne. Um, I see a security dude trying to come over to me based on Drake pointing, but the guy's walking over. But then Wayne. Sticks his head out of like, what up, my boy? So me and Wayne chop it up right there. The security guy is confused at this point because he's like, I'm hugging Wayne. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. I don't know what hold on one second. What happened here? Hold on one second. Yeah. So uh so I'm hugging Wayne. And um while I'm hugging him, while I'm hugging Wayne, the security guy for Drake stops because Wayne is the CEO of Drake. So of course he was saying, I'm cool with the CEO, he ain't finna bother me. But so I walk around the club and I grab, I'm just, I really, I, I didn't know what was gonna be going on. So it was somebody's table, I don't know who they was. So I just grabbed a bottle from the, somebody's table, just grab it so I can have something on me. You know what I mean? I go sit with my back to the bar, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know, I can see what's coming towards me or whatever, right? Dude comes to me and said, what's up, blood? I said, bro, I don't, I don't bang, like, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, oh, you don't bang? I said, no, nah, I don't bang, bro. You know what I mean? He walk off. Then Drummer Boy is there. Drummer Boy comes to me and says, yo, Sean, Drake want to holler at you. I'm like, all right, cool. All good. Bam. We getting ready to walk out of the club. Drake's to the right. And, it's, you know, his partners around him and all that or whatever. And niggas a little rah-rah going on. And my boys in front of me and everybody kind of talking back and forth. Mac Main said, man, them boys need to talk together, man. Y'all doing too much. So then me and Drake have a conversation. I'm six foot four. So a lot of times that can be intimidating to people. You know what I'm saying? Like, as if I'm like, you know, you know, like I, people don't know how tall I am for some reason. I don't know why. But it's like, so I, I go talk to, 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 to Drake. I'm in his ear. And I'm like, yo, bro, uh, look, man. I don't know where the confusion is at, but I'm like, you know, these dudes around you, man, these dudes will kill you. You know what I'm saying? Like, honestly. And I'm like, bro, you may have the ups on me today out here, but you are, your last name is Graham and you have Rams in Memphis. You know what I mean? And, you know, if 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 it go wrong in here, it's going to be repercussions back home. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Like, so let's just talk and be men. You know what I mean? Now, I ain't saying I wrote your song, but I'm saying you sampled my music so I get a co-write of your song. You know what I mean? That is the co-write credit. I'm not taking anything from you. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we talked about it. He was like, man, the music all I got. I'm like, well, the music is all I got too. 
So here we are at a stalemate, but I'm not gonna let anybody take something of mine. What I look like telling my kids, man, yeah, that song that you listen to, daddy came up with that vibe, man. Hey, daddy, and I ain't got nothing to be able to show for it. No, I can't be able to do that. So it wasn't about being liked. It's about being respected. And you're going to have to respect me. You know what I'm saying? Like, and respect my business. And that's all it is to it. And we, it was no problem after that. You know what I'm saying? It ain't been no problem since that conversation. You know what I'm saying? Like, so. So, how know? did y'all leave it off? He just was like, yo, all right, nah, it, it, it is what it is. I, I mean, I said, at I this said, time, Drake is blowing, so it don't matter. Yeah, yeah. So, he was just like, bro, it was just, it was chill. And then, and then I was like, you know, I had to kind of like, it was kind of an OG call. Like, you know what I mean? I'm like, sometimes, you know, this is, this is like a little bit before my beard was all full out. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know, bro, I just look like this, bro, but I'm, 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 this, this how old I am, bro. Like, and I've been at this, bro. So this ain't no, like, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to take nothing from you, bro. It really, we need to get up and do something the real way. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it was just, you know, she was positive and it ended positive and that's what it was. But would I have liked Drake to come out and say, yeah, man, that was my misunderstanding, man, with Shine, bro. Like, man, like, yeah, nah, real nigga. You know what I mean? I would love for him to come out and say that. But, you know, nigga ain't never come back and readdress that. But I got the plaques and the money for it or whatever, so it ain't really about trying that, to prove That's it. all that matters. No, that's bro. all that matters. Okay. Yeah. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.